Welcome everyone to another episode of Trek Talk with Tech and Kirk. I'm TechMan16. So we got a great new roundtable for everybody. We got our returning champions in Raptor and Grazi from uh, Dark and Most respectively. And then we've got newcomers. We've got Medic and the Almighty Chef has joined us today. How are you guys all doing today? Doing good. Trek Talk is filmed before a live studio audience. That's right. Thank, thank you for the advertisement. I'm going to win a Clio Chef's award a for newcomer. this. I'm the only, I'm the only newcomer. Chef's been here before. I said you're the newcomer, and the Almighty Chef is here. Okay. All right. Yeah. No more cherry. No more cherry. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> oh, Never mind. I'm not gonna explain it to you. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so last week, all right. So last week, I want to expand upon the conversation that we originally started, and that is, I want to talk about these latest uh, events for the arc. Now we have a a slew of them, and for the majority of the battle pass, you're doing mining, and then for the actual ticketed events, you're doing these uh, either buttworm armadas hunting buttworms or doing research from my level anyway from my from what i understand if you're a, a higher higher level grazie and uh, chef feel free to jump in medic too you do the rare ones because you get more shards is that it i'm yeah, only 35 that... tech i'm so sorry i confused you with a high level player and i won't do it again Thank you. That also thank you. insult to me because I'm the same level as medic, asshole. <laughs> well, I can't make fun of my admiral. Well, technically I can. Just a disclaimer. Um, the opinions and thoughts represented on this show are in no way reflective of the Dark Alliance on Server 34. This is completely separate and it's completely non sequitur to what happens in game. That being said, click the subscribe button for more information and news. Anyways, sorry. Jeff, go ahead. Why don't you start us off? Do you like the events or don't like the events? I hate them. I mean, they're th this is the <clears throat> this is the worst one since the Borg stuff. I mean, now out of the Borg stuff, at least we got the Vidar. But this one, I mean, the the officer shards that we're getting, <laughs> it's a joke. And then as far as the payouts on them, you would you would ask about the the armadas. I mean, we've got to pay for these different Armada, you know, credits to go and run these things. I'm the, for how bad this one is. And what started it off for me was the one that where we go in there and we've got to like blow up and spend Tritanium and, and Dilithium on and, and however many ships you blow up, how many holes you kill and just spend on the stuff to get to win that, that event. That's the one that like set the tone for the whole thing. A lot of people griped about it, so they it seems like they've changed it around a little bit, but it is junk. I mean, and then the the payouts on the armadas, like I, I said at the beginning of it, is very similar to the Borg arc where we didn't hardly get any. Yeah, I mean, you'd go kill probes and get more um, parts and pieces than you could what you were getting out of the armadas. I mean, it was it, like I said, this one's very similar. So I'm assuming, Grazi, you're not a fan. Mm -mm. I have to completely agree with Grazi. This this arc is such utter trash. I don't even care about it. I mean, I've cared about every arc until this one came out, and I'm like, all right, this is just bullshit. I'm not even going to fucking worry about it. Well, I'm not even... Like, on this, this arc, other than the Battle Pass, I, I haven't spent anything on it other than... Well, I'm, well, nothing on the arc. I've just done my normal stuff, like you know, as far as like working on research and 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 my base. But that's that's normal yeah, stuff. Here. I'm not going above and beyond for this arc. <laughs> yeah, I missed the first arc, and it was the, that was that was very disappointing for me. That put me that definitely put me behind. I had some real life stuff going on. I was absent from the game for like a week or two. I got like the beginning of the arc and then I missed the rest of it and I missed all the good stuff that came in the first arc. But in this one, 
I mean, you get in some uncommon, which is nice considering how crappy the refinery is, but that, that that's really about the only thing in this uh, arc that's that's even worth it at all. The 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 rewards I think from the um, event store, uh, or sorry, from the ticketed events are for the neutronium that you can use in the event store. I think is is far more uh, valuable than anything we're getting in the arc, and that would only be for officer shards. And then if you wanted like cultivated mycelium, otherwise the event store is kind of crappy this time around too, in my opinion. Okay, so let's let's talk about the event store a little bit, um, or not the event store, but the event rewards themselves. Last arc able to pick your ticketed event and then you could get a substantial amount of uh parsteel tritanium or dilithium and i was always picking the dilithium events because that seems to be the scarcest thing in the galaxy thank you star trek discovery um but this time around you you know my level i'm 32 so i'm doing you know i'm picking the uh but worm armada crap where you spawn these armadas and then the rewards are par steel and it's like if you beat a level 39 i think your rewards are like 600 par steel like 800 par steel like what are we supposed yeah. to do with that yeah, yeah you beat the level 39 terrible. have to go with heal <laughs> yeah, I was going after the crystal rewards because uh with a d4 and three faction miners and everybody's like, man, you've been at 35 for a while. You're planning on not by choice. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. The struggle is real. <laughs> oh, yeah. When I was upgrading my Saladin, um, I, was, I was always out um, three-star interceptor parts. And, and, yeah, everybody says you can use Latinum, but I'm just like, no, I, I, I want to grind for them. But those are a pain to grind for. Do you experience that as well, Medic? Uh, no, when it comes to the ship parts, I just spend the Latinum on it. Oh, fine. Don't be like me. <laughs> I, <laughs> don't, yeah, I've, don't I've never it. had a problem with it's ship parts. It's hard enough to get Crystal. One of the one of the funniest things I ever heard was when uh, you or Kirk had uh, made a comment regarding Crystal in one of the podcasts about how the uh, even the bubblegum machine in the station in your station requires Crystal. I thought that was kind of <laughs> that, was, that was pretty witty. Because seriously, man, crystal in this game is it's ridiculous, the amount of crystal that you need. And I don't understand why the faction miners aren't broken up by faction, because that's, I mean, poof, that's just hard to do. With three I, I guess miners. I guess that's why you just, that's why you just need a cavort to mine all that crystal. But let me, I guess let me put it this way. You need a cavort, that's a tier eight cavort, in order to mine faster than a, and then a max north star. Well, yeah, but then you need uh, decent rewards from the refinery, and that's never going to happen. Well, I mean, most of the time you get more rewards from your um, from your you know daily events as opposed to the refinery. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. All right. Um, any more thoughts on these on these uh, Scopely events? Because th th this is arc three, right? There's an arc four that's going to come. I thought this was right? the last arc. Okay. Um, but I don't know. Hey, you I, know what? Let me I, look at the news thing right now and see what it says. I thought this was arc three. Yeah, this is arc three. Okay, so there's another arc. So that being said, we can depend on Scopely making the rewards even worse the next time around. Yeah, unless they throw in like some TOS Kirk shards again for people that miss them, like <clears throat> myself. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know because uh, this arc, uh, I think we're all in agreement, is pretty crappy. I was pissed they didn't have Scotty because I was close to up in him. I want more Harrison shard. They'll run more auctions. <laughs> God, that that is the worst thing for for players in this game is the auctions i never participate in any of those auctions because i'm just i'm like i i'm i don't spend much on this game so the prospect of me getting any shards by not spending is very remote so i just don't even do them and that's the ripoff is rarely they, they make it just for the top five it needs to be more for the top 25 i mean even if it's just you just get a couple at least you're uh, everybody at least feels like they're participating and getting some 
spending and, hundreds. And it's of always the same top five people. It's the biggest spenders on the goddamn server. They're not sharing it with yeah. anybody else. Yep. You'll really Grazi, see we're looking that. at you. I <laughs> Which, which cracks grassy. me up. Which I'm not always me up because it's, it's like, okay, the guy, top fives that get it are role players. Who are you going to battle? Yeah, you'll real. You're well. If you go row, chef, that's your answer right there. Is this an intervention? Well, Silent. No, no. We'll we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Don't worry. No, no worry. We'll we get won't. In. No, get. <laughs> Uh, getting back to the events, though, you'll rarely see me in a uh, in an auction event. If you do, it's because there's something in there that I feel is highly worth it, and it's uh, like uh, stuff I've been saving up for for a long time. Like right now, my auger I could take the T8, and my uh, D4 I could take the T7, but I haven't. There hasn't been an auction event that I've felt that's been worth the rewards. And since I try not to spend money on this game as much as possible, I try to wait until there's something that's worthwhile. Other than that, my advice to anybody else would be pay attention to your milestone uh, events because, honestly, that's that's the best bang for your buck. These leaderboard events, in my opinion, are just designed by Scopely to make people spend more money, and um, you have to put a lot into it to get not a lot out. If you look at a milestone event, you can figure out exactly what you have to put into it and exactly what you're going to get out of it. And especially like me, if there's crystal in a milestone event, that's when I'm doing it. Like I'm not upgrading officers. I'm not recruiting officers. I'm not upgrading ships. I'm not doing any of that unless there's a milestone event that'll get me rewards back out of it. That's part of the reason also why my progression has slowed down so much at this point is because at the level I'm at, I need so much more to progress. Yeah, and these arcs don't help with your progression when they don't contribute to what you're overall doing. Yeah, not at all. Matty, what do you need to progress in? What is it you need? I need a Kelvin so I can kick your ass again. <laughs> Dude, we're going to have this conversation? Because, all you need... <laughs> because I'm not kidding. I've said it a gazillion times. Arguably, Medic and Starscream are the two best hunt chef hunters in the game. So if you, if the server wants to kick my ass, just go do a medic GoFundMe so he can get his ships. I'm done. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. If you don't like chef, send medic money. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this Jesus be, Christ. This podcast. Is you, you do realize chef gets paid a dollar per dry hit. <laughs> a ra- raptor funds of ships. Yes, I, my my money that, that, to upgrade my base is going to uh, him so he can hit people. <laughs> so we've got a few and, admissions. Uh, heaven forbid you forget to send a check in the mail. Jeez, your whole alliance will pay for it for months. <laughs> you, guys Just, are the reason I, you guys are the reason I buy my Adderall at Costco. <laughs> This is great. Um, all right, coming back to the events. Um, so why don't you guys list off uh, what is it that you guys are looking for from Scopely for for some of these re- event rewards? Well, the more materials, start, man. The officer shards are great. Everything else sucks. You know, give us more mats, maybe some more officer. The first arc with all the officer shards that they were giving us, I was impressed. I was like, this yes. is the best, you know, yeah. arc ever because of all the officer shards they were giving us. So if they were to keep Absolutely. up with that, it would be amazing. But no, if then the next arc, they take that. it all away. Yeah, <laughs> if they repeat that in arc four, or at, or at least even half of it in arc four, I mean, that would be... Because I'm sure you got you probably have a lot of people that progress through arc one and got close to getting these officers and are just not there yet. And it's probably becoming very frustrating for them. So if Scopely would give them a chance to finish that off in Arc 4, I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. at least let people get the fucking shit T1. I mean, then grind it out yeah. in, the, in the shop with the, with the tokens. So... <laughs> Well, on this one with the Neutronium, they did give us the availability to go in and get some of the officers. I mean, some of the spins on them are pretty high, but as far as like overall, what I would like to see Scopely do is quit introducing all these damn different currencies and different 
different ways to get officers and version type thing or something like that. You know, after multiple amounts of pitching session through multiple content creators, they, they put DuPont and Elia into the end store for, uh, for purchase using your shards. Is it about time? Are these officers worth it? Did you get them in the first place? Uh, have you used them? Have you not used them? What do you think? They're definitely fucking worth it. <laughs> uh, her is my new favorite officer. <laughs> no, I think the mining officers are, I mean, they're, look, they're mining officers. They're not going to be anybody's favorite, but they're nece- they are a necessity at this point with the addition of three more things that everybody has to mine on a regular basis being, you know, T1, T2, T3, ISO. Um, it was getting kind of hard with having um, only three officers that increased the, the speed of materials. You know, so now you got DuPont um, that can help you out with that, as well as he can also help you out with, um, you know, protective cargo. Because um, before you had, you know, one of those officers doubling up on that. And it made it difficult to mine multiple things simultaneously, you know, without having to switch out your miner constantly without before going OPL. So. Um, you know, yeah, they're mining officers and they suck because they're mining officers, but they, they are, I think, a necessity at this point and uh, will probably be will probably come in helpful and be very, uh, very handy to have. Yes, you have three protected cargo miners uh, and we only have one stone. But the, be- the, the best so far, I think the best officer right now is, is, is Uhura. And why? She's anti-con. She's best. She's awesome for base. Def- why is she awesome for base defense? Because who doesn't crack a base without using con? She she is she is if you want a base defense officer, oh her is she's not as good as your Borg officer, uh, but she's good. If you look at the uh you know your your mining officers, the only one that is really worth in my opinion, it's really worth a damn that really gives you any any significant assistance with protected cargo is the pring. Uh, the Borg guy gives you a 40 or 50 percent if you upgrade him. Um, and then you got uh, what is it? Uh, not Otto, the the data mining guy uh, from the augments. Okay. Who is it? Yes. Thank Joaquin. you. And uh, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you, you got to pair him with Synergy, um, you know, which can be good if you're mining data. You know, then you can pair him with Synergy and get 100 um, percent. But you can also pair him if you pair him with to bring and then with. Uh, one of ten at the same time, you're going to get a, a lot more protected cargo than than if you just throw some synergy officers at him. So I like I, I like Dupont because he can you know he's going to help you with your mining speed on your mats that can be increased with synergy and then your uh, protected cargo starting at fifty percent. Um, I haven't looked at Elcar's, but it would be awesome if he increased the way the same way that to bring in was another to bring in uh, respect to protected cargo. Oh, I totally agree with you. Just if you've got, you know, if you're running four, five, six slots, you start running out of, you run out of protective cargo officers. Oh, no, protective officer, cargo officers are, are awesome. We need, we just need more and another ston. But as far as all these new officers that are now in the event store, um, you know, after you get to a certain level, like if you want to get Kirk, it's like 60,000 for what? 10 shards? 100, or, I think, or something. Yeah, it's oh, just yeah, a huge amount. For 100, yeah. Yeah, it's just a huge amount. Once you know, and that's where I'm at. So it's just like, but like I said, the officer that's, uh, I mean, he's great. The, I'd say the second one, like I said, I just I think of her is the one if you're gonna if you want to find one that's gonna get if you're really looking for base defense officer, she's the. One. That makes sense because chef, chef's base gets hit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Not as often as you think. I had that spout. I had that spat with Rev Deuce because he thought I was stupid for getting two Kelvins, two Enterprises, and I'm like, they're, they're, it's base defense. Can't hit my base. Kind of hard to retaliate. I still think it would be cheaper to buy a shield. Yeah. But that's not that's not the fun part of the game. Shield stops at, Shield stops everything. Shield or share done yeah there's nobody that can, that can crack you in one hit anymore anyways i don't think chef no no his base and his ships have gotten way too big honestly even if he only had one of each ship one kelvin one enterprise you know one sally 
one something, one something else. I don't think anybody could one shot his bases. Pretty much once you get up to once you get up to level, I don't know, somewhere around forty, and you start actually getting ships that are over three mil, and you get your jellyfish and stuff, you're you're pretty much immune to getting one shot anymore. Yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just talking to my THC. Is that like a CPA? Yeah, chef, you know, sharing is caring, bro. <laughs> so I actually used I actually used Dupont myself. I use uh, Dupont, Tupring, and Ten on my North Star to mine G three. It's the fastest thing in the world. It's just like I don't know. I get my I get my daily done outside of TC in I don't know like twenty five minutes or something. Nice. What's your protected on the North Star with all those officers? Um, one is like eight eighty two hundred or eighty three hundred, and then the other one is like forty five hundred. So, what's your total uh, protected though on with all with all three of those protection officers on your North Star? So let me. I'm checking right now for you. All right. So, uh, Dupont, Tupring, and Ten have seventy eight fourteen protected on thirteen thousand two hundred total on one North Star, and on my other North Star that I use, I use um, Joaquin, Curla, and um, uh, Elia, and I get. 4,844 out of 13,200. But sometimes I switch out to Leo for um, uh, Ston just to, just to get my dailies done. And, gotcha. you know, by the time, you know, by the time both fill up, you know, it doesn't take too long. Get my nodes, get in, get on, get on with life, right? Because I only need, like, I think 25,000 once you hit, um, uh, once you hit, 10 million rep. You know, so two North Stars mining at some stupid rate, you know, you, you get done pretty quick. Nice. What's the what's your mining rate then on your um like in a say in your T three zone with your North Star? Oh my T th- I, I I have to calculate it because the, the North Star doesn't display the correct amount. Oh, okay. You know, because it, it's got a different formula than all the other miners, but I don't know. The the one with ten to ten you're looking at you're looking at like thirty five thousand an hour, something like that. Not bad at all. Yeah, the best I can get with my best faction miner, which is either crystal or ore, um, and uh, I have no way to mine ore right now. I'm mine right now. I'm at Bold for Particle Exchange right now. Thank you. Shout out to Bold. Thank you very much for working with us uh, so closely. You guys are an awesome ally. Um, and uh, I'm mining crystal with uh, Barrett and uh, to bring for protected as well as synergy and then throw the triple on there as well. And I think I'm mining crystal at about 48 K, which is very nice considering how much crystal, I need, how much crystal I need. Okay. That being said, I hope arc four doesn't screw us further. I hope we get ability to get more officer shards and and get the ability to at least round out some of our officers and why don't we move on unless uh kirk you got any more questions regarding the arcs no no he's he's too busy doing the butt worm armadas <laughs> no i'm not i'm not doing any of that i'm just I'm prepping for uh having a house guest so i'm just listening to you guys drone on about fucking officers I got a visual of Kurt scraping his ass across the living room floor. You got to mark your territory somehow. <laughs> right. Um, let's move on to some of the conversation that we were having earlier between Chef and Medic. Now, Chef, you consider Medic one of your best friends in the game. Very touching. But... Um, <laughs> He so, touched me. He touched me. He 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 touched Shy. you in all sorts you of ways. Much, you had too much TS. You had too much THC that day. You don't remember it. Help! I need an adult. I need an adult. <laughs> There's none of those here. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. Um. So yeah. Uh, 
there was a conversation we were having where chef you were saying that uh you've offered not to hit medic and his team multiple times over and medic said no 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 you can't do that you can't do that we have to save face go ahead and hit us and uh how did that relationship come about he owes my sister child support <laughs> <laughs> He's been on that child support thing for a while now. I should probably pay up. <laughs> Damn, I'm glad I'm not the only one he tells me that. Be careful, man. The state will repossess your enterprise. Oh, no. I can't have that. Pay up. Yeah, I guess you're paying. Hey, you guys want to know, pay... know the... I'm making coffee. More coffee. You want to know the medic Jason story? Is that what you want to know? Yeah. In, in five minutes or less. Yeah, go ahead. Chad, five minutes. And then I'll, I'll, and then if I need to clarify anything, I will. <laughs> right, Chuck. Here, here come the expletives. Uh, actually, actually, Matic is 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 probably my my oldest best adversary, uh, and pro like I said, arguably uh, one of my dearest friends on here. Um. But no, because MB, the thing is, is, so let's just rewind. Uh, let's just go back to follow up on the original podcast was when I told everybody I took a seven week sabbatical after I left Razio. Are you guys still on? Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't want to get 20 minutes and go, chef, we lost the whole combo. Um, so anyway, when I took the seven, keep me on track, no squirreling. So when I took the seven week sabbatical, I gave the server a clean slate. In other words, when I took that seven week sabbatical, didn't hit anybody. I basically, when I came back, I said, everybody, I'm not, everybody has a clean slate, no bad blood. And there was about five alliances, six to eight, somewhere around there of old timers, but most, uh, dark. No, was it dark? No, it wasn't dark. Most MBD, MRFM, MRCM, whatever. The old school alliances, about half a dozen of them. I went to their admirals and says, Hey guys, don't even know why we're fighting anymore. Do you want me to stop? Medic was one of them. And they go, nope, we're fine. Let's just play cat and mouse. We're cool. Let's just go ahead, be casual, whatever. And MBD was one of them. And I just would sit once a day, bump these guys. But it was always mainly casual, nothing hardcore. And uh, But Medic, Medic was, uh, in my low 30s, Medic was by far... We've always we've always uh, played our joke is Ralph and Sam sheepdog coyote. Um, he would kick my ass in the low thirties. Twelve, I would say twelve, twelve to one easy. He would beat me if he and he was good. He was he was the best hunter and you know Mako's been good. Metro's been good. Uh, arguably Starscream, but by far Medic has has been the best hunter and. Uh, but we've always been real cool about it. But he, uh, but MBD has allies like Tank and a few others. And nope. I just thought, <laughs> no, just bold, no. <laughs> just bold. All right, and bold's another one. I just uh, and I'm, bold's well, another our one. sister. Our, well, we have our sister MPD, obviously. But then, yeah, outside right. of that, yeah, and then it would be yeah, bold. Yeah, we we were no we MPD, we but too those much guys to have too many allies. We don't like to take food off the table. But this this is why I want to clarify. So now that medics in the room, because he can he can verify this. Everybody always thinks, oh yeah, uh, uh, Nona pays chef. Chef pays Nona. Uh, you know, uh, chef sleeps with Nona. There's only been one time ever, ever that Nona has ever helped me win a battle, and uh, and it was without asking, and it was against medic. <laughs> And oh, that's that why was, my. Remember, yeah, that was a long time ago. Wow. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and that's the one and only, and that is the one and only time that Nona has ever helped me. I fight my own battles, but I also know, but I also know when it comes to medic, all of my friends, that if I ever did need them, I I, I sleep well at night knowing they'll be there for me. And so how did how did Nona help you against medic? Oh, it was funny. Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, my short term's gone, but my long term still there it was in sinister and i was raided base raiding 
an MBD player in Sinister. He had about, uh, I already took him for about, uh, I think about 150, 200 mil. And all of a sudden, Inco shows up, or not Inco, but Medic shows up, and we're going ship for ship. And now we're just doing it for fun. Because like I said, this is before I, this is before I outgunned him. And we were, we were just going ship for ship, laughing our asses off. We weren't talking, but I know he was laughing, and I know I was laughing. Because he might even been beating me one, one and a half to one. But anyway, this went on for about 15 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Oh no! I was trying to hit the base at the same time, trying to hold him off. So yeah, it was like yeah, was. it was a, it, it was a game of can you can you hit my miner before I can raid him before you hit my ship before I die. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, Inko sw- Inko sw- just shows up out of nowhere and just nails him, and and then just sits there and I raid another two hundred mil. And I know, and I know, and Medic was pissed for five minutes. First time I ever seen the guy pissed, and it was like, what the hell was that all about? I'm like, and I was like, dude, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I had nothing to do with it. Because he thought I, he thought I, you know, because I'm not that type of player. And he knows it, that I wouldn't, I mean, I would tell him going, you know, I, I would have said something like, dude, you're about to get ambushed. <laughs> we all know Inko so. Chef's alternate account, so. Yeah. Anyway, it was hilarious that, because that must have been that must have been tough. That must have been tough, Chef, for you to play on those two accounts simultaneously like that, man. Because you were going and your your alt was going at the same time. That must have been real hard. <laughs> I know, especially when you're on THC and my thumbs, man. <laughs> it was just funnier and shit because it was just like it was. I was. I think I was more jaw dropped than than Maddox was because I never saw it coming. And so that was so anyway. That was the one and only time that since then Inco's hit me, Medic's hit me, uh Handyman's hit me. I mean, uh it's just fun. It's but you gotta realize when when I first when I first uh uh became friends with Nona, I remember we were all hived together with wars and 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 one time uh this is the like first month I became friends with Nona Purple, uh Handy and I were base raiding and I hit his ships like three times. And I was scared shitless. I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. I'm so... All he did was say, LOL. All he did was say, uh, it's like, we don't take it that seriously. We were hitting each other. It's, it's just fun. I mean, everybody gets their butt hurt over this game about, it's like, like I said, uh, the best advice uh, so far in all these podcasts is what Key said. Did you try talking to him? <laughs> just, just be respectful, be civil. Try talking, but if you start demanding just because you have big ships, uh, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> that's a little. That's just a little try to be nice. It's a little ironic coming from him, but what? What yeah. to be nice? How often do I troll on on general chat, young man? No, 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 no. It's just about you. Key. We're talking about key. Oh, that, that's yeah. that's why. I can't, yeah, I wish I like I said he just. Uh, I I wish that's what I said to him. I said, hey. You know, did you try talking to me? <laughs> he was just mean to me. But uh, it's just a great piece of advice. Well, th- that being said, um, I know we've talked before, and you tell you told me that you went from so you don't hit eighty percent of the servers. Your your little tagline that you say you twenty uh, percent you do hit. One of those alliances that you pounded relentlessly is IMM. And now they're, you know, they're purple to you. Well, yep. How did that come about? Because you went from hardcore pounding them to all of a sudden now you're friends with them. Yeah. And I've also negotiated peace between them and Medic's team, uh, as well as uh, Starscream's team and Scent. I prefer peace than, than war. There's plenty of trolls to hit. Um, but it was like uh, IMM trolled me terribly and i never hit them i am never ever 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 the aggressor in this game you have to troll me you have to lie to me you have to disrespect me i'm never the aggressor. and even then i'm going to say do you really do you really want your teammates trolling me because i haven't hit you since you guys started bad mouthing me so what what do you want to do and that's what i mm did uh ales did he him and his friends were just bad mouthing me really bad i basically had them all blocked and I heard that they were reaching out like, hey, man, they're, and I was pounding them hard. I mean, 
60 some ships easy in an hour or two. And then and this went on for days, weeks, months. And then finally, uh, they, uh, they quit trolling me just period. They just quit trolling. My name would come up and they wouldn't comment. They just laid low. And then one day I just said, you know what? I think they've learned their lesson. And I quit, I quit hitting them or I quit going out of my way. Uh, and it got to the point where I just left them alone. And then I just reached out to them. And I, I challenge anybody to ask them. They will tell you that I have probably, I, there's no doubt in my mind, I've become a better friend to them than I was an enemy. Um, but I, they don't ask me for help. I just do. That's what, I don't have allies. Nona's not my ally. Dark's not my ally. Sin's not my ally. IMM's not my ally. They're just friends. And we just do. You know, um, if I see their base getting hit, I mean, if I saw their base getting hit, I'm gonna, and if it's another red dot, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defend them. If it's a purple, just, just like, ad- I'm going to stay out just of Just in it. addition to that, on the, on the, uh, also, uh, Epi and Handy definitely deserve credit on uh, helping us, uh, and as well as uh, uh, Get Her Done at M, um, with helping us to finally uh, squash everything. I know Chef was working kind of behind the scenes about the same, about the, about the same time that Chef reached out to me about it. Um, somebody who at M, who was friends with uh, Handy, had already reached out to Handy and said, listen, I don't know what's going on at leadership or whatever, but the players want this to stop and uh um which you know which which we knew um you know we had had i I myself had had several conversations with several several of their players um we just never were able to see eye to eye leadership to leadership um at all and uh so i know chef was working on him behind the scenes and then you know pm and me as well but by that point um uh handy had already reached out to epi you know and let him know hey these guys reached out they're tired of it you know is there anything we can do to end this and um I know between uh, between Handy and Epi and Get Her Done, they all worked uh, real hard on uh, on getting it done. So it's, there's a lot of credit to go around there and being able to end that war. Thanks, buddy. But, but that's what that's what to, I told Handy. This isn't the first time Handy's cock blocked me when I'm trying to be nice, <laughs> and I and I tell him that. Well, what what happened was I saw because uh, he was it's that's how how Handy and I were such we're really good buddies. But like I said, we don't talk all the time. So it was just really funny that we were running a simultast, uh, trying to get people on the server to make peace, but we didn't talk about it. And then with it was within an hour of all of a sudden, hey, MBD, and and hey, Chef, thanks a lot. All of a sudden, oh, yeah, Handy was doing it, too. <laughs> I was laughing. I, I sent him a note saying, thanks for cock blocking me, you and your Chef Voodoo doll. Because um, if I'd have known he was doing it, I'd have stepped back. Um, but all I saw was some really nasty general chats between IMM and MBD and I'm, I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not the social conscious of the server, but, but if people can't play this game and have to say things that are just kind of very, very, um, you wouldn't want your mom to read it. So I just said, Hey guys, knock it off. Cause like I said, I have a lot of respect for MBD, IMM. Uh, you know, I'm trying to take you under my wing and I, I basically tell, any team like IMM or somebody that wants to be friends with me, I said, you have to realize what you say in general chat not only reflects against your team, but also your, your friends. So if you're going to try, if you got players that are trolling, making war for your friends, you're selfish. And that's what I tell all the people that want to be friends with me. If you're not willing to kick people that are willing to make war for your team or your allies, then I have no interest in being friends with you because, um, you know be honorable be play the game without you can do it without having to throw insults banter is great you know fuck you chef i get it but but seriously that's the problem these 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 teams aren't willing to kick trolls or selfish players well they're my buddy yeah but your buddy's going around telling everybody to fuck you and now you guys are getting hit yeah but they're my buddy well the server needs if they really love star trek the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few and yeah, that's I think I that's one point that me and Chef really see eye to eye on that is just there, there's there's no reason there's absolutely no need to post anything uh, anywhere, be it in a GC or in a PM that you that by Chef put that you wouldn't want your mother to read. Um, there's just no reason for it, you know. And that's that's I think part of the reason why um, you know me and Chef get along uh, so well. I mean, he's got his play style. I don't agree with it at all. He knows that. Um, you know, I've. I've <laughs> I've tried 
uh, a couple of times to put the idea in his ear about, you know, Hey man, why don't you just go row? It's, it's not going to happen apparently. And, uh, but, um, you know, there's, there's no reason, there's no reason if he dry hits anybody, anybody on server 34 is listed in. I mean, if he dry hits you, there is no reason to open a PM and curse him out. It's not, it's just a game, dude. It's just a digital pixelated chip, you know? I mean, and listen, maybe you're not big enough to retaliate against him, but there's others out there that are. And that's, that's honestly, that's, that's part of why MBD never, uh, never entered into a nap with, with chef as we are, we really, we're very highly pro row. We, we really respect row. Um, you know, we are also, you know, pro simplified row. We do definitely like the changes that have, that have brought row to a more simplified version as it is now on the server and try to bring everybody, you know, back together. Um, and, um, um, somebody who, who, I'm sorry, who said what? Oh, I was just joking. Interrupt. Well, oh, see, Handy, I think that... Handy finally, Handy finally, Handy finally showed us. up. All right. <laughs> How long have you guys but, been uh, recording? Um, an hour. How long? There we go. Yeah. It's been an hour. Yeah. Roughly. Oh. Yeah. About uh, 45, well, the, I guess. Well, yeah. The one thing I, the one thing I want to make straight is, and that's the biggest fallacy, not phallic symbol, fallacy is that Chef hates Roe. I don't hate Roe. I want Roe, I want to play uh, non-Roe, which is, you know, my philosophy is is try and play honorable, be respectful, and then there's non-Roe. I, if I leave non-Roe teams alone, if they leave me alone, like I said, there's 80% of the server, if you see me, there's 80% of the server that's either neutral or purple. Because they haven't trolled me, they haven't disrespected me, they just leave me alone. There's always trolls out there, teams I can hit. There's always bigger fish. So how do you get that red dot from Chef? If you're a nice person, it ain't because of you, it's because somebody on your team. And usually it's just a few people, but teams don't want to address it. They'd rather just get mad. They want to be mad at something in the world, so let's be mad at Chef. Well, you know what? There's a reason why te other teams aren't getting hit. So instead of always pointing your finger at me, look at all the people I don't hit and what did they do or not do to be friends with me and not get hit. That's all I'm asking. I respect role players because guess what? Everybody's getting into deep space. There's going to be more trolls out there. And Smooth and Trojan proved it a month ago when they went and cleared up troll teams. We've we've already seen through some podcasts already that if if I was off the server, Nothing changes. Road teams are having trouble getting along, and deep space is only going to make it work. whether I'm there or not. Honestly, I don't think deep space is going to make a big issue either way. I mean, people that regularly mine there just don't care, except for teams that want to win lat rush, which, I mean, to be honest, look at the rewards. Like, who cares? So, like, for example, we made the decision a long time ago that we're not going to give two shits about Lat Rush. So we never try for it. Well, to, to, on the dark space stuff, man, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I think my highest ship's like Warp 85 or 90 with Scotty or something. And so I can, I can get pretty far out there. And, dude, even during Lat Rush, most of those nodes are empty. The only nodes that are really highly populated are the, are the little ones, the smaller ones, just at the beginning of deep space. I mean, you can even then any... I can always get a spot there. Yeah, I mean it's really not that hard. I mean the only the only reason that a lot of them are populated is because people they they abuse the no hit in deep space thing and they'll sit there zero for a day and a half. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, that's it. But I mean, the you're going to have thing... some antagonists. <clears throat> I mean, you might. I mean, you, you can still you might, clear but, a zero node in deep space. Though. Yeah, you can still yeah, clear you can, a zero so, node in deep space. You, yeah, you can still clear zero, right? But you're just not going to hit OPL. But my point is that I, most I of the people, because I'm not in I'm not in zero in, in in deep space yet. Uh, I would imagine that um, if there's open nodes though, and there's a zero, you would not clear that. Zero. No, of course yeah, not. Yeah, but you no, wouldn't no, do no, that anywhere. I mean, you wouldn't do yeah, that in right. any space. Sure. Yeah, this is just I mean, that's a dick. Move. That's a dick move. Yeah, but, I mean, you're, you're, yeah. you're, miss, you're missing my point. Look at how much controversy you guys have. That's why. That's why you know. Look at how much you know. Just being an officer in a row alliance, how much 
PMs you get because people violate row. If you think emotions run deep, every time you get a PM because somebody didn't somebody violated row in lower space, can you imagine six months from now when antagonistic players get to deep space? Well, well and eventually they, deep when, space when that, go, the emotions are gonna be a lot higher. Yeah, but if eventually you think emotions deep space are high now go the way of everything else. I mean, it started out gentlemen's agreement. No OPL hits in warp 40, and then it was warp 50, you know, and now it's up to deep space. And as the server grows and progresses and more people get there, it's eventually just going to fall to standard row, the way warp 40, warp 50, yep, et cetera, now does, too. But we're guys we're that, surprised it hasn't gone away already. We expect look, the, the agreement to be gone already, and we do really don't care. As but the elephant, in the, room, the, the elephant in the room that a lot of people don't want to talk about is that Look at the look at the disparity between most of your average players and being able to make it to dark space. Your average level 32, 33 right now, it's going to be another six, eight months minimum before they're even able to get there. Not if they up their discos. So well, no, because you're but they're level, level capped. Thirty eight to get there. Yeah, yeah you are level, level cap. I have a max max disco with max research at uh, level thirty five. And my disco is maxed at warp fifty with Scotty. I mean, yeah. I mean, the fact of the matter is, stuff's going to change, but that's just it's going to be it's going to be constantly evolving. And here's the thing: most of the trolls are not. Most of the trolls are free to play people, right? Because they're not investing money into the game. So here's the thing: they're not really an issue. Most of the troll players, that first of all, they can't even touch me. Like they literally can't hit me. They're too low. And the ones that are high enough to be able to hit me. I think my one of my weakest miners can take out the strongest warship. So for people that are going to be making it to deep space, even at this point, it's not really an issue. There's too much of a power disparity. So they can't even make that warp range anyway. So at this point, I mean, it's really a non-issue. It's all speculation, right? Yeah, no, that's a good point. I, I, like, I, I like the odds of my and, and I want to speak on behalf of Dart. Chef, you're so arrogant. Yeah, I want to speak on behalf of Dark and the whole ROE. Chef, we really don't get the PMs like you think. Like you think, I maybe once a week I'll get a PM with some stupid little. Oh, somebody hit my warship while I was. Oh no, I just farming. read General Chat. Like, well, what the it fuck just, did you do? General Chat just goes yeah. nuts with rogue, rogue bitching about other rogue teams. Yeah, but that rarely reaches General leadership. Are, aren't anybody. Yeah. Yeah, same thing with M with MBD. We don't just basically the same as Raptor just said. Um, it's really not as bad as you think it is, Chef. At all, um, it was a lot worse before when we had first started. Row. I mean, like when I was in IDDA and we had you know a five minute zero node warning, and then somebody else was only one minute, and it was like, well, they only gave me one minute warning, and it's like, well, we're, well, well, our row says five minutes, and it was like, well, theirs says one minute. So which row do you follow? And I mean, it was. Honestly, man, it was a disaster. That, that's one of the reasons why I'm such a proponent for server row and why in discussions with MBD, um, I've always been pro remaining a server row and ultimately why MBD, even when we disagreed with certain parts of it, like slow mining lat nodes. I mean, we've been against slow mining lat nodes forever. We still stayed server row just to maintain the homeostasis uh so to speak on the server with everybody else and just kind of keep everybody on wonder under one umbrella of understanding one umbrella of rules and you know be able to maintain that 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 peaceful and proactive uh play environment even if we didn't agree with it you know now we did certainly work towards you know making suggestions to the row council and things like that and i think that if i'm not mistaken i think we were the one that put forth the initial um thing that got the vote in motion to stop mining slow miners uh, i'd have to go back and check because i don't think i was on the server 34 um, discord at that point i don't but know i, think I Mud, know for months i i know for months i petitioned for it and you did and too rap good they, good yeah and yeah. every and every time they put it up for a vote it got voted down <laughs> so i got pissed <laughs> <laughs> the pro one of the problems yeah. is that one of the problems is that all those votes are coming from pretty much free-to-play alliances. And let's be honest here. The game, the server economy, is the pace is set by the top alliances. And so, you know, I hate it for you if you're the admiral of, you know, the 20th most powerful alliance. But, I mean, the power disparity 
I mean, alliances like that, we have guys in our alliance that could single-handedly wipe out your entire alliance. So I don't say it to be like, you know, you're a peasant or a piss on or anything. It's just that the position you're in and your play style and the fact that you're not investing money into the game, you're not in a position to make those decisions. And this, this, this entire game is, is based on pay to win. So the person who pays the most money and invests the most money and time is going to be one of the bigger decision makers. And it's a fact and that's not disputable. No one can dispute well, that without sounding like a moron. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to dispute that, but I'm going to also, I'm going to add though, that at the same time, if it wasn't for the free to play, we wouldn't have a server. I mean, look at, look at, look at the list of alliances, you know, and look at where you're paid to, where you're, where you're, you're paid to win and you're paid to play, pay, pay to play players. And then the free to play, the free to play way outnumber the pay to play and the pay to win. And if it weren't, if it wasn't for them, we, we wouldn't have a server. So we do still need to respect their play style and give them, you know, uh, input and, you know, choices and voting power in, you know, what we do on the server, because they are, they are the majority. I mean, the, the people that pay may be the majority of the economy, but the free to play players are the majority of the players. And if we didn't have them, we wouldn't have a server. Mm. We'll just have to agree to disagree there, because like I said, Scopely's <laughs> okay. in the business of making money. So if you're not spending yeah. money, uh, if you're not spending money, if I'm a business owner and you're not spending money, I don't give a shit about you. I mean, I'm going to be fact. honest with you. If you're not in the top 10 alliances, I don't know who the fuck you are. I mean, I mean <laughs> it's just, and this, again, it's not derogatory, but it just speaks to you as a player and you're more casual and that's fine no one's saying that you're any less of a person because you're probably a better person than we are for dedicating well, less time to, this game, off, to be honest so you, just so you know yeah i was about to say chef's not in the top 10 Sh chef's who's, in a category who's, who's, who's that if you're yeah, not in the yeah but i don't know who chef is who's until he hears me not, <laughs> not the top 10 alliance you don't know me who said that i was raptor He's about to find Raptor. out. Raptor said He's it. about to find out. <laughs> all, right, my, all right. All right, Chef. My base is in Sinister. Sweet. He said, he said, Chef said, Chef said, fuck around, find out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me know what ship you want me to leave out for you. <laughs> but, ser but seriously, though, like I said, I mean, it, it's it, the last podcast, somebody, there's someone we all know, and, and they took something completely out of, out of context, and, uh, I'm not going to apologize for that. So moving on, <clears throat> I just want to clarify that again, if you are one of those smaller players, I'm not saying that you're that that you're, you're stupid or trying to be negative in any way. But it's like it's like for example, if you have a football team and you have everybody that's on the field, and we're all going to make a big decision about the team, and I'm the guy who makes sure you have Gatorade, and I come in there and I say, no, you shouldn't make that decision. This is exactly what you should do. Okay, that's the exact same thing that's going on right now. You have all the big players getting together, the ones who are dedicating the time, that are spending the money, they're playing the game the most, they're doing you know, all these different things, and you show up like 30 minutes over coffee in the morning. You have to look at the, in, the, in the bigger picture, who's gonna hold, whose word's going to hold more weight, whose opinion's going to hold more weight. And that's, so that's, that's just all I'm saying. I mean, in all actuality, the only reason why Server 34 Row is still even going the way it is is because the top, I'm going to say about top five or six alliances allow it. If they didn't want the Server 34 Row and they all just started doing their own thing, they would get together and do their own thing and there would be nothing the Server 34 could do about it. I mean, well, I mean, Nona does kind of do that. I mean, it would, throw it, 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 would throw, it would throw it into chaos, but... That's about it. Yes and no. I mean, well, look at Nona. They, they made that decision for everything a day ago, and, and they're doing just fine. Yeah, well, that's they're not mainly being, because... They're not out there being dicks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, our, our no-dick policy essentially means that 99.9% .9 of the time we are following server 34 row. It's just yeah. we do have allowances for a little I more no leeway. Dick. And the only reason for that is to reduce the salt. So... In certain situations when somebody's being trolled and it's obvious that somebody's messing with one of our players, they have carte blanche to, sh you know, to, to blast them into oblivion and not get in trouble for it because they're getting trolled. You know what I mean? So we don't allow people to hide behind 
ROE in order to troll. That's the main difference. And we do that. We kind of, I mean, we kind of do the same thing at, at, at MBD. I mean, like if, mm-hmm. you know, cause our row is, is more restrictive than the server row. And it's just, it basically covers the don't be a dick policy is without saying, don't be a dick. It kind of covers the more, the most common, um, you know, row allowances that are considered being a dick by, you know, 99% of the server. And so like, for instance, we don't hit warships outside of um, base rates, you know? So if, if, if somebody's doing dailies and somebody comes along and, and pops their Franklin or, you know, or, or, or whatever, even if it's not frequency modulators, if it's this, this first one that came to mind because it was the most recent issue that we had, but um, you know, then we're going to talk to the Alliance about it, you know, and Hey, this happened. And, you know, most of the time they're like, yeah, no, we, you know, we don't, we know it's row, but we shy away from it, you know, because they understand that if 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 they start doing it, then that opens them up to having it done to them. And and they don't want that. You know, they want to be able to go in, get their dailies done and be done and not have to worry about being hunted, you know, five different times in the in the in the scope of of getting their dailies done. And so what we'll do at MBD is we'll make a row exception for that alliance if it becomes necessary. And generally within one to three days it's it's done it's over because you hit and you're hit you hit some somebody else and they're like you know yo what's up you know oh, well so and so you know did this and uh, you know we spoke to so and so in your leadership and uh you know they said it was okay so you know we're just playing by by your row now and yeah it, but it, you're right basically away, I mean, it, you're basically quickly. trolling them i mean it's kind of like a i mean yeah a sort of a mini war you know you're making similar, a point yeah you're it's similar, you're going out of your way you're, you're going out of your way to hunt them to make a point which I right, believe is necessary. It's very similar to 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 what you were saying about you right. know uh, Nona you know following. Yeah, the, if, if you're being you know, trolled, trolling us, Paul. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Just like you should be able to fight back. That was a very back. long, elaborated, elaborate way of saying that that MBD virtually follows the same policy with different wording. It's just like dark and uh, OPL data mining. We will not hit you OPL, but you hit us OPL. I swear to God, our alliance is going to start hitting every single one of your OPL ships everywhere. I mean, it it just comes down to the point, uh, you know, fuck around and find out. I mean, (laughs) if you mess with one of these big alliances, they're going to get you. They're going to make your life hell. Let me me summarize. Effectively, what you're all saying is you will all go chef if you get trolled. Negative. Which is chef's Negative. chef's point? No, no, not exactly. no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's more no. of an eye for an eye kind of thing, is what it is. Yeah. Yes, there you right. go. So, eye for an eye. Right. Exactly. So, so if if here's the thing, it's a, I don't it's a measured hit. it's a measured response. <clears throat> exactly. Like I don't hit yes. OPL and data, but if you and this is all those people from Mill that love doing it because they're too lazy to mine data, which is literally the easiest thing to do. If you hit me OPL and data. I'll hit your ship while you're delivering cookies to your grandmother's house. You're just your free game. <laughs> and so then, and so, and that, it's a tit for tat thing, right? So if that's what you want to do, like for example, Rap, Rap just said, we don't hit OPL data. And I won't. It's a dick move. I hate it when it happens to me. But anybody from Mill, I don't care even if they're not OPL. I'm going to blow them up. I don't care. It's just, it's to that point, right? So that's the thing. It, just to, to your point, which you said earlier, you're now setting up because you're like, well, we're going to hit OPL because it's OPL. Yeah, but now you're setting a precedent where people are like, oh, well, screw you then. We're not going to respect you know, what you, you want. You know, so that's the, da- that's the danger you run. You know, you guys are all my friends and you're all saying, fuck you. You do know I'm here, right? <laughs> yes, can you saying, I have a reminding us. <laughs> <laughs> now, chef, chef, here's the deal. We all very much respect how you want to play the game, and we respect you. Like, I consider you a good friend, a very close friend. And I respect the way you want to play the game, but I do not agree with it. And if I could get you to go ROE, I would. I agree with everything Andy just said 100%. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have to tell you that... Uh, to play the game, you want to play the, the way you want to play the game. You've done it from day I'm one. A, I'm not going to well, sit I'm there and think it, about exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I'm saying I respect him the way he plays yep. his game. I, me, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Me, I, I wouldn't do it myself, and I don't condone it, but at the same time, I also respect it. 
and I respect I'm Chef go, and the way I'm he wants to play. I'm just going to go a step further than that, and I'm going to go ahead and say that Chef is necessary for our server. Well, he certainly mixes things up and makes things interesting. Makes it interesting, exactly. Okay. That's, that's exactly and it also keeps exactly. people from being lazy, too. I mean, you leave your ships laying all over the place, they're going to well, get blown up. All I'm going to say is, one, if you compare my gameplay to Rogue gameplay and compare it to Scopely's business model, it are, nobody can argue that I play it the closest to the way the game is designed. Second, like I said, I prefer friends. If teams would just have a policy in place to how they're going to address rude trolls or dishonest players and say, hey, chef, we've got this three people on our team that we're going to put a clamp on them. Is there any way, because they're either dishonest, did this, did that, this, that, is there a way that we could... It's all because trust and friendship takes time. Well, here's the issue, though, Chef. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a circle, um, and it, it, you know, it started out, you know, Chef was in dirt, dirt, dry hits the whole server. You know what I mean? It, it has, and then, and then, so, so from there, it went to okay. When we see dirt, or when we see Chef, you know, we're gonna, and and and, um, I know the new dirt, um. What's his name was uh, the admiral of uh, Bringers of Death. He came back and restarted Dirt. But um, who is it? I thought I thought somebody said his name. It's oh, uh, Sniper Grinch. Sniper Grinch. You know, so I'm not. This has nothing to do with the new Dirt. I haven't seen them out dry hitting or or anything like that. But um, anyway, yeah. So Dirt dry hits everybody. You're part of Dirt, right? So now we're gonna hit you every time we see you, and now. You know, it's it's now progressed to the point where, you know, Joker's taking most of those guys over to Razu and taking them to a very, even if he doesn't consider it row, a very similar to row. They're not dry hitting and they're not getting dry hit. Um, and he's made it. He's done a really good job of making it known that that that, you know, he wants Razu to be, you know, uh, you know, kind of part of the whole general play style, whether he uses the term row or not. You're still at the point where everybody's like, well, Chef is just a dry hitter. But 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 now you're now you've come you've come 180 to, well, I'm not a dry hitter. I'm just gonna hit people that have trolled me. But then that goes back 180 right back to point zero where it's like, well, Chef's a dry hitter, so we're gonna troll him. And if you don't find a way to break that cycle, it's I never gonna end. Yeah, in other words, if somebody's been an enemy for so long, it's just normal to be an enemy and they're not looking exactly. for exactly. They're not looking for a way to make peace with Chef because they can't get over and their I'm own feet. And I'm fine with that. And I'm fine I mean, with that. Anybody who listens, I tell them, make friends with Chef. That's all you got to do. Just be respectful to him. Stop fucking with him, and he won't fuck with you. It's that simple. But nobody, nobody, very rarely do people actually take my advice. And I've told many people the same thing. No, I tell people too. I just say, look, I, well, I, I basically tell them, look, he's going to play his game. You know, if he dry hits you, don't don't curse him out. Don't I mean, just you know, if you want him to hit you harder and to hunt you, then yeah, go ahead and troll him. Go ahead and PM him with you know cusses and you know calling his mother names or whatever. And you're going to get hit harder. Just let him do. Just it's a game. Just let him do his thing. There's no reason but, to hate him as a the person flip side, because of but it. But the flip side, if you look at uh, like I said, in, in what three weeks I've negotiated, helped negotiate peace with four different alliances. Like I said, I prefer. There are plenty of of, of people out there that I could target. Um, uh, it's it's you know, like I said, it's just I prefer friends. If people can't, if people can't put, I can put my ego aside. The question is, can your team? It's that simple. So, Chef, if the whole server, right, if everybody that you're currently still have marked red, if they all stopped trolling you, talking shit about you today, as soon as this podcast airs, <laughs> everybody hears it and they say, we're not going to troll him anymore. We're not going to. I mean, what 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 would you do at that point? I mean, because if you're not hitting them, you would essentially be call it row or not. You would essentially be following the play style of everybody else on the server. You would be no more. You wouldn't dry hit any of them anymore. Um, they're miners. You wouldn't come attack there. I mean, it, what would happen? It would medic. Happen. That was my question. <laughs> anthropologically, anthropologically yeah, I, speaking, people are creatures. It would never happen. 
And that and that and, that, and that's the biggest number. Then that. when you tell you talk about pay pay to play or pay to win players, nobody people who play, it's bad enough free to play players don't like people telling them how to play the game. You've got people who spend a lot of money don't want to be told how to play the game either. And everybody has a right to play their own way. So what happens when we have a server merger? Who's whose side you gonna be on? People, the teams that troll dishonest. The whole wait, server, wait. the whole server is gonna have to stick together. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. chef, chef, chef. No, no, but 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 getting back to the, the medic's original question, if everybody listening today, they listen to, to the podcast right after this, and and everybody that you marked red, says, okay, sorry, chef, we're not gonna talk, we're not gonna talk shit to you, we're not gonna troll you anymore. What will you do? Uh-huh. I, I could probably answer, answer that for him. Time. <laughs> and I know it wouldn't happen. Exactly. That's what Chef's going to say. <laughs> and that's what takes me back to basically my basics of Chef's going to play his game. There's no sense in cussing him out for it or trolling him for it. Unless you want him to pay you special attention. And that's also part of the reason why MBD has not given Chef a nap. There are some alliances that are too small to fight him. And because of that, I mean, they're, they, they follow Roe. And they're just, you know, I mean, hell, at, at right now, MBD, we barely, we, we we barely have guys that can, you know, we got a handful of guys that can fight him at this point. He's gotten so big, but we're, you know, just for the fact of, you know, kind of feeling bad for the little guy. I guess this goes back to before again, also like what I was saying about, you know, free to play, you know, making up a big majority of the server, and you know, I kind of, I guess I have, uh, they kind of tug at my heartstrings a little bit, um, so to speak, you know. We're we're not gonna we're not gonna hang him out to dry. We're not gonna give Chef a nap, and while he's still out there hitting all the smaller alliances, that they don't have even one person that can stand yeah, up to the, him. The, so the thing is, the you thing know. is, and now that's and that that's why I asked the question that I asked. If everybody if everybody said we're not gonna troll you anymore, what would happen? That's why I asked that question because I was pretty sure that I already knew what the answer was going to be. Wouldn't it be in the best interest of your alliance to seek out? A nap with Chef? Yeah, I mean, that's great and all, but the server doesn't want server police. Nobody is ever going to thank you for, quote-unquote, fighting against Chef. No, but the more alliances... So I had an admiral of a smaller alliance approach me a couple months ago, um, and it, it, it almost came to a head, but it didn't. And he had eight players if i remember correctly give or take um that were done being dry hit by chef they're like we're getting hit by chef and you know then you know these other big alliances are coming in taking our nodes and they don't do anything about him and they're taking advantage of it because he's dry hitting us and then they're taking them and he had like eight guys that were gonna that were gonna start their own alliance basically like a mini dirt and they were only going to target the alliances that nap with chef to aka even the playing field um oh, please it please do it didn't, it didn't come to a head it didn't come to a head yeah let me see um, how that one well, we'd we love that <laughs> yeah. well well listen i mean dirt was uh, dirt was a pain in the ass and i i don't think that anybody you know that uh, uh, anybody wants you know, eight, and um, here's my other thing too. It would it would start with those eight guys. How many other little alliances are there out there that are fed up with Chef that when they hear about that are going to jump on board? And it, what I felt like is that it would have become the rebirth of Dirt, but just targeting the big alliances. Yeah, what's the lowest person you can what? hit? What's the lowest, what's the lowest level, level you can hit? Before I scroll this, people people have to people have to realize that I when I was with Dirt, I was all axe. Now I'm scalpel. In other words, I don't go around and hit everybody. I only hit particular teams a lot different. Now, um, so yeah, no, no, we know that, But what's the lowest so, number? What's 20, the lowest 20. level you can hit? Twenty-eight. Okay. Yeah. So, so that, in yeah. in other words, if if you're if you get hit by chef, there's probably a good reason for it, and you should not ask yourself, "Wah wah, why is chef hitting me?" You should ask yourself, "What the f did my team do?" To, no, to but get, see, but here's the thing. But to get thing, his man. focus. Chef's been, Chef has been dry hitting for so long that nobody even realizes that he's changed his play style. Well, if and they listen to this, the they question. will know right I, now. I told him. Right, I told him to listen just, to the podcast multiple times. But he just, but he just answered the question that 
if everybody who's red dot was to say, all right, we're not going to troll them anymore. We're not going to curse them out. What would happen? They're still going to get hit. So it's nothing's going to change until it changes on that's not Chef's true. part. First. That's not true. That's not that's necessarily not true. true. That's that not what so he not said. True. Because He's, he said it would take okay, time. He said it would take time to become friends There's and even earn more than the that. trust. You know how many times people – I can give you an example of, of alliances that will come to me and say, hey, uh, how, do we, how do we make an alliance with you? And, I'm, and my first thing is, okay, you've got players with bad blood. What? How are you going to correct it? It's not with me. It's with you. You guys started it. You were the aggressor. Don't come to me saying it's my problem. You need to fix it. That's the big misnomer. Is ever well. And, and in all in all fairness, Chef, though, Chef, a lot of these people that have issues with you have issues with you because of things a long time ago that you probably don't right. even remember. Right. right. Yes. That's what I was going to say. Thank you. Andy. So you're talking about old feuds, very old, you know, back when you were part okay, of dirt and, and whatnot. So these yeah, are issues. Talking a about lot of those, it. honestly, if you look at it, a lot of those teams, the people who are having issues with you, are, a lot of them probably aren't even in those teams anymore. Yeah. Right. So I mean, you've you look got at, people you look at with dark. grudges that are in different alliances now and well, look so at, completely look at, different so level, fault, maybe even a different so name. So is it if none of those officers – have ever come to me in the last year. No, it's, it's, it, it, how's it's that just kind of one of those things. It's not really, it's kind of hard to assign blame. It's not, yeah. Well, yeah, how it's no blog. fault. It just but is I, really But I've said that so many times in general chat, and you guys have read it, that I am not aggressive. I don't think you block anybody, oh, yeah. do you, Chef? That's why I don't read. Oh, yeah. oh you do have people locked. But, okay. But, but, but it's it's like, here's, here's the deal. Is there are people, there are people... This is why I go back to the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. There are people out there that I just lie because they've lied to me as admirals. And now they're not admirals. Anymore. And I've seen those. There's probably a dozen of them. And I will see them go to Dark. Or I will see them go to Nona. And I will still defend them. Because I put my personal ego of how I don't like them above my friends. And I can name names. Matter of fact, we've talked about one of them was Thanaton. Nobody, Thanaton was one of the biggest troll guys out there against me. When he joined Nona, his base was being attacked. I defend him, and and now we talk regularly or often because, like, like I said, that's... and essentially it's because you took that first step to respecting the alliance and gave gave Thanaton the uh, opportunity. To be able to talk to you without feeling like Bingo, he's on the, the defensive. Same thing with IMM and all these other ones. Those, what I'm trying to say, that's just one example of many, just like with Medic, is is like I'm reaching out saying, hey, I don't want the aggression, but I'm not afraid of it. There's not alliance out there I'm afraid of, period. If you want to be aggressive towards me, I prefer not, and I will go beyond trying to make yeah. it right. You know? Yeah, but our, our, our thing, though, is we... And look, we may be alone in this as a top 10 alliance. I don't know. I think there's other top 10s out there that, that do take the same stance that we do, that we're we're just not going to leave the little guys hanging out to dry that can't defend themselves against you. I mean, that's what it is. If you were to, if you were to, if everybody was to say tonight, listen, we're not going to troll chef anymore. We're going to, all the admirals that had red dots, they listen to this and they PM you and, you know, listen, we're not going to, we're not going to troll you. We're not going to, we're not going to cuss you out we're not gonna you know we're gonna leave you alone can you leave us alone and you would say yes and not say well it's gonna take time don't you know and and then and they got to go you know i don't who knows how how long the time is but they're not gonna you know it was at three months is it three weeks is it three days you know but for them to stop it's not just you you're, 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 you're missing the trolling, you're you. missing the trolling and part to continue there to are get servers out, anyway. guys out there that have said they weren't gonna hit me and they ambushed me and then they threw it in my face so it's not just trolling. There's a lot of there's a lot well, of dishonest people that I'll never quit hitting them. Okay, but it's never. Uh, but so it's almost saying it's it's it's, it's never going to stop if you don't give it a chance, you know, or but give it another it, chance, you know. I mean, but isn't it a isn't it just a moot point yep. at this at this point, guys? We've been sitting here talking about this. It's just a moot yeah, point. Yeah, Chef's going to play that way, and and there's and there's nothing going on. My biggest question coming back. And this is in no way an attack on you, medic. But 
from what I'm gathering, Chef came to you and said, hey, I'll stop hitting you guys if you guys stop hitting me, and which would be extremely beneficial for your team, for mining, for the furtherance of all that stuff. But you said no because of people that weren't in your team. And the reason I asked yes, is because yes. and it wasn't I mean well. and, and 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 it wasn't and it wasn't just me. Okay, MBD we have a we have a leadership team and we all vote on we vote on everything. Um and right. so you know it was but it you know it was leadership as a whole. Part of it well. I will say part of it was was <laughs> was distrust for chef and whether he was actually going to hold his word. That was a part of it. And the other part of it was chef I will tell you chef right now chef lie. always Always keeps to his word. Always. Yeah, and and here's, here's my and point, guys. Before we, He's before we get off on some very honest person. Tangent. Look, look, here's the deal. Yeah. Go ahead, look, before we get off on some tangent, let me finish my, my damn point here. The, the, the only point that I'm making, you guys, you're, you're, you guys alliance, you guys play however you want to play. I don't care, you know. I mean, hell, at this point, I get on to do my dailies and I do what I can, then I get off. I, don't, I barely do PvP anymore. I just, you know, I just do what I got to do. But... You know, if that were to Taking happen, notes. I can tell you right now. Well, I can I, I can tell you right now, if that were to happen, uh, in in let's say dark, because that's the that's one I'm in. If that were to happen at dark, um, and Raps here, and, and I'm I'm sure he'll I'm sure he'll back me on this. And if he doesn't, I'm, I'd be very interested to hear why not. If they made a decision that weren't was not in the best interest of our team in the long run, uh, we'd have problems. Well, we all so do that. that with server row. We make decisions that are maybe not in the best interest of our team, but it's in the best interest of the and server. You don't understand. As a whole. There are people. No, well, there, I there's disagree. People, there's people on the yeah. row. The whole there point of row that I have no problem hitting with a clean conscience. Like, hey, you know what? The way you guys are treating me, the reason I offered it to MBD is because Medic and Epi and a few others I have a lot of respect for and I trust them. It's about trust. Because I knew that if I was going to be ambushed by somebody with bad blood on medic, which I mean on MBD, which wouldn't surprise me, I trust that they would take care of it. I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, that happened with Nona. When I when I people with Nona, I got ambushed several times by about two three people. They're not on that team anymore. Um, my purple, all my purple teams do not tolerate me being trolled, or 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 people on their team. I mean, I I brought it to attention several times of, and I'm not the police. I'm. It wasn't just against me. It's like you got somebody on your team stirring a lot of shit because a lot of the officers don't read general chat, and and I know a lot of like dark dark officers, and there's a lot of there's a lot of friends that don't like their players causing wars, and there's other teams they don't give a shit. And that the and that that's what worries me. And those are the ones that go, well, we don't understand why we're getting hit. Well, ad ad address your people that are starting wars for you, and why do you tolerate it? You said it. Well, I think it was Kirk that you said it. Why do people tolerate it? I mean, I don't mind my guys being in Galaxy Chat as long as they're being civil, and I don't care if they're trolling a little bit, but don't be in there being very disrespectful, cussing people out. You know, trying to cause problems. Well, if you're going to troll by making fun of a few people, that's cool. But if if somebody's stirring up a bunch of shit, they are literally making a decision for your entire alliance. And if you tolerate it as leadership, you are you're being neglectful of your people. Well, you're, because, set, you're setting a precedent. Yeah, that everybody else can make the decisions for the entire alliance, and you don't care, and you're not going to do anything about it. Is basically what you're saying by inaction. That's what I'm saying. The majority, if you look at that 20% of teams that I hit, it's usually caused by a few and the team don't give a shit. So it's like, hey, it's an all for one thing. You know, you want the benefit of getting the alliance events and getting all the, the prizes for being an alliance. But the flip side is, if your alliance is going to be addicted to players, it is a war game, you're going to get hit. All for one works both ways, good and bad. So real quick, just to throw this out there, is is Grazi still with us? He's here. He's just muted, I believe. Grazi, yeah, are you I think still he out caught there, a buddy? connection. He said he told me he had a connection I, issue. Uh, 
I texted him before. He said he had a lot of background noise and um, he didn't want to talk over anybody. So, but he's, well, he looks I, like he's still I, there. Well, I'd be really interested to hear what he has to say on all these things that we've talked about because we've covered a lot of ground here. That's true. <laughs> I mean, gee, I mean, this is like if, if we were all sitting at a freaking bar, we'd be at our fourth or fifth beer by now. Hot wings. <laughs> but, so, Chef, on yeah, that going, note, Okay. Going back to the IMM example that you brought up earlier, how you used to pound IMM relentlessly, now you're friends with them. What was that time frame like so that people can get an example of what a time frame shift can change between you and an Love alliance? Love those guys. IMM was awesome. Hills is a bomb. Um, I even had their Admiral block. block. Um, let's see. Probably... Uh, <laughs> Probably since uh, six, five, six months ago is when they, uh, like probably let's say March, probably around October, November is when I, they first started trolling me, and I would I would pound ales and Quaylor a lot, and at one time they they teamed up with VHC and had sixty five ships waiting. And it was funny. Anyway, it uh, so after pounding them after about two three months, I got word that they wanted to apologize. And it was like, no, nope, too soon. Like I said, I'm a train Boeing negotiator. It's like, no, nope, too soon. So I gave it a few more months, and I unblocked her. I pretty much had the whole team blocked. I unblocked them, and I said, hey, you want to chat? Not once did I ever ask for an apology. Not once did I ask them to grovel. And they basically called me every name in the book, literally. And I never hit them, ever. I'm like, why? Why? And they, you know, they explained it, and I'm not going to get into it out of respect, but it's over with. Done deal. Now, uh, now I help them as best I can, and they don't ask for help. That that took around four uh, months, you said, just just about from from start of trolling to, to say, you know, reparations, to I guess. No, there was no reparations. I didn't ask them for anything. Four to six. I make them grovel. Like I said, I challenge anybody to ask because I've treated. But the, it's not. But it's 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 not an exception. Uh, in, in other words, in other words, uh, they, they show humility. I try and be humble when I can, um, especially when I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I guess I guess that's what you can you can expect from chef is that it does take a little bit of time and it does take a little bit of humility on both sides yeah, I mean, to, to amicably become purple, I guess, in, uh, in scopely terms, just so that he doesn't hit you and you don't hit him. And so eventually if everybody that chef's got a red dot on um, either addresses their negative actors or, they address, you know, how they, you know, speak to chef. Then you can expect within, within the next time that everybody gets a G four epic ships to go into the, uh, into dark space, um, everybody will mostly be friendly with everybody, and then, well, and then comes the server merge, and then you want chef to dry hit everybody else. Well, l let me just let me just point this out, and then, and and. It, it, it's not blowing smoke here. You know, I respect Chef just a friend. Uh, I'd do anything for him. I wish we lived closer, you know, so we could hang out. But um, if you look at all the people he's had an issue with and that has then become resolved, there's never another issue after that. That's true. Good point. So yeah. I would challenge anyone to bring up a point where Chef became good friends with somebody and then another issue came up. I would challenge you. They're either few and far between, and I mean, like maybe once or zero. Outside of I Joker, <laughs> I can't think of anything. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, I, that's I do know when we made peace with Chef, there was maybe a couple accidents, but Chef immediately PM'd telling me, "Hey, man, it was an accident. The name on the thing, it was some, it was some weird thing it was where the game was kind of glitching." He apologized immediately to me and to the person for hitting them because he said, hey, I wasn't trying to. It was an accident. So, Chef... But the point, the point is, is that it wasn't intentional. Exactly. Chef right. owns up to his mistakes. Well, I'll grovel. Right. I, I, have, so, I have no so problem groveling. I don't, if, you know... No, because <laughs> what I realized, 
what I'm, realized, you're, you're, what I'm trying to wrong. get a point across to the server is that, uh, you know, a, there it's not going to be a full scale war, but um, I I am making my all of my friends. They have to be honored. They have to be because I realize in this game, in order to win, you have to have friends. In order to have friends, they have to be honored. So. I even my and all of my friends have all been enemies. Every one of you guys has been on the other side of, of the ship. And we've always played nice, we've always been friends, we've always done favors. Even with enemies we did favors. And so the and that's just it's gonna come a time. Chef, if I understand Look, I'm almost done I'm almost done. If I understand correctly. So, the so I'm, I am building okay. an empire. I am building an empire of honest I don't need to be the admiral. I'm happy being the cook. I don't need all the drama of being an officer. I, I get PMs all the time from my buddies. You guys PM saying that I am building an empire of honest friends. Because there will come a day when uh, I'm going to need help. I won't have to ask for it. It just shows up. Because uh, there you're going to see more and more trolls. And you, you just see general chat. The trolls gravitate to so it's basically going to be dishonorable versus honorable, eventually getting into deep space. That's it. Might be a small war, it might be a big war, but I like my odds with my. Friend. That's it. So if I understand correctly, the path to becoming from red dot to purple hand or purple heart is. You know, basically, it's kind of not going to happen overnight. It's kind of a gradual change. Stop, you know, hey, reach out to Chef, say hi, become friends with them, stop trolling him, you know, and then Chef will stop hunting you. You'll still get hit if he sees you, but he's not going to go out of his way to hunt you. Let that go for a little while, build up a friendship, build up a trust, and then you can, you know, get to the point of, hey, listen, man, you know what? I like you guys. You don't troll me anymore. You know, let's just go purple instead of red. Is that is that a kind of a fair uh, a description of a path that would lead people to becoming purple instead nope. of red with Chef? <laughs> because 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 I get this all, all right. the time. People like I got this eight months ago with the podcast. I only I only don't hit friends. Period. How do you become a friend? You got you either got to be you got you got I got to trust you. And if people are just being friends with me so I won't hit them, I'm being used. Because that just tells me if I ever need a favor from them, I ain't going to get one. Boom, if you're just being is. friends with me so I won't hit you, and I got that a lot after the podcast. It ain't going to happen. And there's a reason why you got a red dot. Because I don't trust you to begin with. So, it, it, it like with Medic's team, there are plenty of people on his team I am totally fine with hitting. No remorse. But I trust Medic, I trust Epi, and a few others. So what I'm saying is, it's it's about trust in anything, and whether or not I'm just taking. What's in it for? Me? You've gotten to the point where you've wasted my resources. You're you're cutting out well, a little bit. Gotten to chef. the point where they think, oh, Chef wastes our resources hitting him. Well, you waste my resources being a jerk to me because now I gotta hit you because you're gonna want to ambush me. For no reason. I didn't I didn't start the war to begin with. You did. So what are you going to do to make a, just saying, sorry. Well, everybody doesn't want me to hit them. Everybody I hit doesn't want me to hit them. So how, how are you going to make it right? And I'm all and I'm not going to make you gravel. I'm not going to ask for an apology. What are you going to do to correct your problem so it doesn't happen again? Because by me not hitting you, I'm letting you get stronger. And I don't trust you, which means you could just be using it against me six months from now. Ha ha! That's what Malinka and MRFM did. I let her get, you know, I'm just saying there are people out there that will try and make peace with me and then turn around and use it to ambush me. So it takes time. And I'm all for it. But it ain't going to happen. But like I said, it's, if you're just using it so I won't hit you, um, then you're really not my Because being friends with me yeah, mean I'm not I mean, gonna that's, hit that's that's kind of a slap well, in the face. Favor. Yeah, it's just a slap in the face. Well, it's no different than I'll tell somebody I'm not gonna hit him, and I accidentally hit him, and then they go ape shit on me. 
And I tell people right up in front, accidents will happen. It's a favor, not a right. And like I said, Inko's hit me. No, no, the, point hit that I'm me. Making, the point that I'm making if is... If Medic hit me, I'd laugh my ass no, off. Well, the point that I'm... The point that I'm making here is that they're not they're not PMing you because they genuinely want to get to know you. They're PMing you to use you and to pretend that they're cool with you when in actuality they're not. And that's what I'm saying. That's that's bullshit. And, and that's right. And like I said, there are there are plenty of teams out there with trolls. And I've always respected the whales. I'll give you an example right now. Kimley Blackstone. And Balsas, both of them are on MRFM. They're both, I think they're both bigger than me. Never hit them before, ever. And they never hit me before, ever. And we're talking 44 levels until recently. And it pained me to do it. And I still try not to hit them, despite the war going on. Because it's just a mutual respect. Never talk to them. You know, I, I expect, you know, if, they, if I don't, if you're level 44 and you're not blocked by me, but we don't chat, odds are I've never hit you before, or rarely, except if the team was in. And that's the way, that's been the way that I played pretty much uh, ever since we were talking about level, yeah, pretty much the whole since I've been playing. If you were bigger than me and you didn't attack me, I didn't attack you. Back. And that's why there's so many whales out there that, uh, like like I just said, till recently, didn't never hit each other. Because it's just, I respect whales. That's why I've never been started in deep space, ever. I'm all, um, I'm always the aggressor. I mean, I'm always the, the guy that gets hit first. Even, even when we had the ceasefire and I got hit in deep space, I didn't retaliate. People, people, think, people think that I just go around just trying to make, be a jerk to I, I I really appreciate you guys uh, defending me. The THC's kicked in. <laughs> the THC's kicked in. That's on on that note. Anybody got any other uh, points? No, All right. Don't, in, my don't hang up. So, we're say our goodbyes. Well, we will relax. after the recording ends. Oh, no, you got to relax. <laughs> well, we're not. What, what's that line from, <laughs> from that movie? Let's let's not start sucking each other's dicks just yet, gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> that got his attention. That, nobody explained that to me when I told me to come on the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. You didn't tell him about the green room. Oh, no, I didn't. Man. <laughs> All right. Um, I think this has been fun. Uh, I, I think there's been a lot of points that have been clarified with respect to Chef and, and Roe and all the other points. And then the the initials, um, the initial conversation regarding the Scopely reward. So I implore Scopely not to fuck up Arc 4 like they did uh, Arc 3. Nice. Uh, but... But knowing Scopely, they'll they'll make Arc Four even less desirable. Honestly, guys, I I hate Scopely. I really do. I, I love I love my MBD family, and that's what keeps me here. And I love all the other friends that I've made throughout other alliances, you know, in the game. And if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't still play this game. But I have since they took away the Rialta burn, I have not that I ever spent a lot of money, especially not compared to some guys like that are on right now, like Razi and Handy and Chef. Um, but what, what little I did spend and view more of an investment, I've tried to even, I've tried to cut back even more cause they really have, they really pissed me off, honestly. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'll take the, I'll play devil's advocate here and I'll go the other route and say that here, I mean, I'll take the first example I can think of this first arc with the, uh, with the butt worms, right? Um, the first, the first day we had the events, they were like. You had to go backwards to complete them. In other words, you had to lose more resources and repair costs than you would in getting resources from the rewards. Oh, titanium was huge. Hundreds and of millions for at my level. Immediate, immediately the next day, they were super easy. So, and it seems like things like that Obviously, haven't been happening people more. Complain. Right. That's and probably the because thing, the people in Scopia that actually play the game bitched about it. 
So here, but here's the here's the point. Take it back going. a year and a half ago. They never would have addressed it. So the fact is, is that there's a lot of evidence here that we can't overlook that something's happening. Now, is it what we want? No. But here's the deal. If you actually look at fan base, I'm going to say I really dislike a lot of the stuff Scopely does. But we have probably the whiniest fan base of any mobile <laughs> game or any game, period. I'm, I'm just going to throw that out there. And I used to play Halo a lot, okay? Oh, so, what do you expect when you make a company billions of dollars in a year? Yeah, Scopely does definitely. Yeah, but here's the thing, Who, guys. Out. Guys, whose fault is that? Okay, here's one for you. Here's well, it's our fault. <laughs> Consider this, and don't edit this out. You have, you have guys, you have guys <laughs> that are spending so much money. I mean, like I said, take me away from the server. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like the Indiana Jones, like on the Big Bang Theory, where. Uh, Amy Farrah Fowler told told uh, Sheldon that if you took Indiana Jones out of Raiders of the Lost Ark, the movie ends. This it's kind of like you take Chef out of the server. You guys, you guys still exist, and I don't understand why. Think about why are why are road players whales spending so much money if they're not planning on battling anybody? If everybody plays row and row gets along, there would be no reason to have to be spending all this money. Because they're collecting ships. Well, well, that actually happens on other servers, Chef. So there are plenty of other servers that don't have the amount of PvP, and that's why a lot of those uh, servers don't have people that are as powerful as, say, Inco or Handy on on those servers. It was a rhetor. It was a rhetorical virtual dick swinging. Right. right. Sure. No, it's it's understandable. The, the other the other thing is. Uh, what I've learned is that you cannot complain to customer service. So the only way that these changes are actually happening is they're going to the content creators and they're going, or the official content creators, and they're going in, in a roundabout way of making change. So it's not direct feedback to Scopely, which is, which is the most bizarre thing that I could, that I could think about because – I've never seen where a company doesn't solicit direct feedback. It, it, it funnels feedback through people that aren't even employed by the company to, yeah. <laughs> to actually make but, changes. But here's the thing. It's yep. called, no, it's called, it's called the popularity rule, right? And what happens is, for example, and you'll see this with companies, you'll see this with government entities where someone goes and complains about something, right? Let's say that there's this, Let's take a small town. There's this pothole they refuse to fix. You know, the mayor's got a new city car, but this pothole that'll only cost a few hundred dollars to fix is not fixed. And nobody wants to do anything. And all of a sudden, they go to some news station. They set up a bunch of cameras. And what happens? The next week, the pothole's fixed. Right? right. So unfortunately, is it kind of a bitch move to go and whine about everything to everybody that'll listen? No. But unfortunately, here, at least at least in the modern capitalistic society, that's the precedent, right? Is if you go and you complain to a bunch of other people and you make it a really big noise, somebody will do something, right? Very true. So, Kirk, set it up with the national media and we'll all be there to back you up. <laughs> uh, fuck them. So, all right, guys. I want to thank everybody for being here today. Handy, Grazi, Medic, Chef, Raptor, Kirk. Am I missing out? I'm missing anybody? I don't think so. Um, I think this has been fun. Hopefully, everybody learned something about Chef today. He's not the dick you think Good he night, is. Good night, Thank you, Chef. Good night to you as well. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, it's not my... All See right, guys. guys. It's been it's that's, been fun. That's okay, Chef. See I got chef. one for you. See? Fuck you. <laughs> Good night, Fuck Andy. You, chef. Fuck you, Chef. <laughs> Fuck you, Chef. That's awesome. All right, we'll 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 end it on a fuck you, Chef. Thanks everybody for listening. I'm Techman Sixteen. <laughs> and fuck you, Chef. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>